What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Klefki team. Guys, I am so hyped for Klefki, considering he has been one of my favorite Pokemons in Pokemon for a good bit now. But, I haven't gotten the chance to use him, and now is his time. So, if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. This team was sent in by my boy, Lobo. He sent it in over onto my Instagram page. Yo, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for leaving this team. Rocking out on this team, though, we got Lapras, and everybody knows G-Max Lapras is an absolute beast. We can set up that Aurora Rail in G-Max form, sing us an Assault Vest to make it more tankier. Water Absorb as his ability, Freeze Shy, Sparkling, Aria. Dragon Pulse and Weather Ball, which is going to work great, especially when we get the Drought Up or different weathers from uh, Dynamax. And then we have Clefairy over here as a nice little support mod. This thing's an absolute tank with the Evo Light and the Friend Guard as well. Follow me, Protect, Thunder Wave, and Moon Blast. We got Torkoal and Venusaur combo. You already know about that. Torkoal to set the Drought with that Choice Specs and Venusaur with that uh, Chlorophyll and Wide Lens. Gets that double speed in the heat and then has that Sleep Powder to help out with the Wide Lens. Then we got Gyarados, Intimidate Gyarados over here. I really do like Moxie Gyarados though, especially with Life Orb. So I think that might be one thing I would change, but Intimidate works just as good. Seriously, they're both great abilities, but again, I think I'd rather have Moxie if this Gyarados is made for killing. This thing has Protect, Power Whip, Waterfall, and Bounce. Bounce is awesome considering it is a nice stat move, and when we Dynamax, we can get that speed boost as well. Then in the final spot, we got the boy Jingly Keys over here. We got Clef Key over here. Pranks your ability, Lagging Tail as its item, so it's going to slow down himself. But we have Switcheroo as one of our moves, so we can give it off to somebody else and take their item. This thing also has Sunny Day to change up weather, Thunder Wave, and Foul Play. And if you guys know anything about Thunder Wave, in my last video, if you haven't checked that out, our Thunder Wave Paralyze was insane. Our luck was crazy. We hit somebody like nine times in one game. It was nuts. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Let's get into this. Let's get going with this Klefki team. First battle coming at you guys, this guy has a full-blown Trick Room team with Hatterene, Indeedee, Malwak, Amoongus, uh, Gigalith, and Porygon too. So this guy has just all-around Trick Room, all-around Slow Pokemon. I don't even think we bring Klefki into this one. Because if he sets that second turn, Klefki can't really do much besides just throw a foul play out. That's about all he can do. So should I go Lapras? Let's go Lapras here. Let's get Lapras up in here. I definitely want to bring Torkoal as well, but I think I might go uh, Lapras Clefairy. Well, let's go Torkoal, Venusaur. Torkoal Venusaur to get us started. We'll withdraw you, and then we'll bring the Lapras in the back end with the Clefairy as well. I think I think that's I think that's nice. I think that is uh, really nice because we can get rolling with the Torkoal and the Venusaur. Venusaur in the first turn can have that extra speed. We can put somebody to sleep. We can do things from there. We can just do big damage. Try to get rid of uh, maybe the Hatterene and all that, or the Indeedee, just one of them, and then eventually get Lapras in probably for a Dynamax Bond of choice because it is rather slower. It has that Assault Vest, so it's going to be nice and bulky. Then we can roll off from there. But yo, disclaimer right now, it is thundering and lightning around my area. So if you guys do hear loud bangs, I'm not sure if my mic's going to pick it up, but that is exactly what it is. It's going to be thunder and lightning. It did like jolt earlier, but I'm not sure if the mic picked it up, but we'll see. I guess we will see. But he goes with the NDD and the uh, Hatterene. So good thing I didn't bring Klefki because all the first turn priority moves with the Prankster would be canceled out by this uh, psychic terrain. So we chill. We made the right call. We got Torx out here. Uh, do I drop a big old eruption? I think I just go straight heat wave. Oh no, this is uh this is my boy right here. So we're gonna go uh Hatterene over with that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up. No, you go heat wave. You go heat wave. There you go. He goes heat wave, and you're gonna go sludge bomb. And Venus is gonna go sludge bomb. This thing's chilling. We have the Y lens. The sludge bomb comes out here. Oh, that might take it out one shot. Might take it out one shot. Oh no, we got the heat wave coming out here. So if this thing is going for a trick room, we should be chilling here. We should be just fine. Venusaur eats up. Beautiful. Go ahead, Torkoal. Torkoal goes. See you later, Hatterene. No Trick Room. And we're going to do some nice damage over on this NDD slot. Beautiful. So that thing's out the way. That thing is gone. Trying to set up that Trick Room. And we get up that KO. That is huge. He did not go for the follow me. You little biscuit, yo. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? We got Venusaur out here. Poison super effective. And we get after it. Okay, so Gig I don't know who's slower. Gigalith or Torkoal. Sandstream's coming out here. So no more Drought. No more drought here for us. That's fine by me. I could definitely go into, uh, I can't, no, okay, never mind. I have to stay with the heat wave here because I'm choice spec. And I gotta go for this Giga Drain. Try to get some HP back and do some work over here. But this thing could be weakness policy. We will see. You gotta go for the follow me, right? Right, you gotta go for the follow me, sir. And, uh, does Venusaur go first? Yeah, Venusaur should be the fastest on the field. Actually, he might not now because of the drought. But this thing's gonna Dynamax. I do have Lapras in the back. Lapras should be able to just do some work. But this thing does have rock moves. Rock moves are looking a little tough. 
And then we do have the friend guard called Fairy, which is huge. Which is absolutely huge. Let's see what happens from here. Giga Drain comes out. We still do have speed. Is this thing policy? Please don't be policy. Give me some HP, please. Yes, please. Yes, sir. We get that nice little HP, but I think another expanded force is going to take us out. And the WP is proccing. The WP is proccing, man. We just policy gets proc. And uh, Hatterene's going to go for that. Or not Hatterene. Indeed, he's going to go for expanded force. And they're going to pick up the double kill this turn. That's totally fine. They're going to pick up the double kill. And then we get out Lapras and Friend Guard Clefairy, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. I can switch up whether I can do work from there. Oh, yo, he goes first. He goes first. He takes out the Indeedy. Give me the burn on the Gigalith. Give me the burn on the Gigalith. Give it to me. No burn on me. Yo, I'm chilling with that. I'm really liking where we're sitting right now. I'm really liking it. Just that the, the WP is throwing me off. It's definitely throwing me off. But again, we have the Friend Guard. We have the Clefairy. We have all this good stuff right here. Dan, 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 dan. Lapras getting out of here. We're going to G-Max that thing. Real question is, do I drop a, uh, a Resonance and get the... Get that going? Or do I just throw a uh, geyser and get the rain going? Amoongus is coming out though. Mm. Ah! Ah, not Amoongus. Not Amoongus, dude. He does have Psychic Terrain. He does have Psychic Terrain though. I remember that's up. Hmm. Amoongus, man, yo, don't do me dirty, Amoongus. Okay, so do I go with Geyser or do I go with the Aurora Bell? This is tough news. This is tough. I don't know what to play because he's just gonna spore and put me to sleep and stuff and whatnot. Hmm, dude, this one's tough. What do I just geyser and get after it? I think I got a geyser to change up this weather. To get out of here and maybe just go for a follow me or maybe just yeah, just go for the follow me. He oh dude, he might go for the uh rage powder. Maybe I should have dropped the residence. Maybe I should have dropped the residence. Hmm, that was a tough call. That was a tough call. I think this is making or breaking us this game. Yo, what you mean? But Dynamax and or G Max and Gigantamax and the Lapras right here with the little little like musical notes around it. Looking all spiffy, looking all cool. Um don't go for the rage powder. You go for the follow me. Get it, Clefairy. Yes, sir, Clefairy. I want this weather out of here. I want it gone. I want it out. I'm not trying to deal with it. And he does not go for the rage powder, so this is good. So weather's gone. We are fastest on the field. Lapras is best on the field. How much damage are we doing this game? Do not take it out. We need to be fine this turn, which we should be. Which we should be. But Fairy should uh go to sleep, right? Sports coming out here. Yeah, obviously sports coming out here. And then the giant rock falls coming out as well. Now the real problem here is. The real problem here, we have one monster problem here. Is it is this thing going for a max guard? That's my problem. It, like that's that's my one thing. I think he's got to go for the max guard. I think he's going for the max guard. I think we got to set up the roar bell and roll from there. I think that's what's got to happen. I think it's a pain in the neck. Like, do I play it smart? No, because I cannot play it smart here. He's got to guard and go for the sport. Right? That's got to be a fact. I got to drop the resonance over here. You got to go for the guard and sport. If he doesn't go for the guard and we didn't geyser that, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh no, he just rage powders. Okay, so that this is actually a better move anyway. It's actually a better move anyway. So he doesn't spore. We get off this resonance. Okay, so this was a better move anyway than just going for the geyser on the Gigalith. And we do some nice damage over there. Okay, okay. Okay, we're cool with this right now. This is going, it's gonna come down close. This is gonna come down close. War Bell up, gonna help us soak up some damage. He's going for the rock fall again. That's gonna be some monster damage. Maybe I should protect it. Maybe, I think I should have protected it to be honest with you. And oh, it still takes me out. That still takes me out. Was that a crit? No, it was not a crit. This thing is just an absolute monster. Assault vest doesn't help out because he's physically attacking. And that was a close one. That was a really close one. Got them both down to like yellowish red. And we end up losing that one. We are now 0-1. But we're going to hop into our second battle. Show off Klefki and get ourselves our first win. This is great. No psychic terrain coming out. So no indeed. So my Klefki can actually thrive. We're definitely going to lead him. This guy's team looks phenomenal. I absolutely love it. It has Talonflame. Well, Talonflame might just uh, do some work on my Klefki. Town Flame might do some work on my Klefki. Well, if he just goes into that or uh, a Flare Blitz, he might just be able to take me out. But we're going to go here. We're going to get Klefki going here. Um, he has Town Flame, Hydreigon, Rillaboom, the Rowdon, Lucario, and Tokus. That team looks awesome. That team does look cool. But we're definitely going to lead Togekiss. Or not Togekiss. Klefki here. Um, do I go in with a Gyarados as a lead? Maybe potentially Dynamax him right off the rip and roll from there? That's pretty, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I I'm liking that. I'm looking at it a lot. You might go with Lucario as well, so we'll see how that uh, actually ends up playing out. Uh, I kind of want to bring Clefairy as later support. Or no, you know what? Let's go with Venusaur and uh, Torkoal in the back end. 
Try to get rolling with that. Try to get rolling with that. Because Cuffy got dumped on last game. And, you know, he has to sit out one. He has to sit out on one. Not Cuffy, do Clefairy. Why do I keep getting these Pokemon mixed up? But we got Cuffy out here. We're going to start being able to roll out and show, it off, show him off for our first time on the channel, which is pretty dope. Because, again, I absolutely love Cuffy. I don't know something about him. He's like a little lock, and he has his own keys, man. Like, what more do you want? He's like one of those little Fisher Price toys. But it goes Lucario and Hydreigon. Hydreigon. Let's get it, peeps. You guys know the deal. If you guys are enjoying the content, yo, smash that like button for your boy. Hit that uh, subscribe button if you're not subbed already. You guys already know the deal. Show some love. Show some love. Inner Focus comes out, so Intimidate's not doing jack squat over here. Uh, we do get a minus one on that special attacker, so that's doing jack squat. Uh, switcheroo. Who do I switcheroo on? I think Lucario. Here, yeah, you take the lagging tail, buddy. And I'm going to Dynamax here. I'm going to Airstream up. I'm going to Airstream up over on this Hydreigon slot. I'm going to get going with it. I'm going to get going with it. We're life orb. I'm switch ruling. Give me your items. You can take lag and tail. It don't matter. It don't matter. And then I'm going to start passing them with T-Waves and all that stuff. And if I want to change up weather, I can do that as well. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's see what you got. You probably use Rock and Flamethrower or a Fire Coverage move on that Hydreigon, to be honest. Because most Hydreigons do. Make a move. There he goes. He's going to Dynamax and he's going to be fastest. Hopefully it's the Lucario. I am hoping it's Lucario, but I can actually see it being the Hydreigon. Let's see what you got. He might try to minus attack with the Hydreigon. Yep, he's going to Dynamax the Hydreigon. Alright, maybe I should have... Oh, I should have lagged down that. I should have switched that thing. That might be Life Orb. Should have probably did that. This thing could be Focus Dash, the Lucario. Let's see what happens here. Let's see, but we are dropping a uh, Airstream over here. Over onto the Hydreigon slot. Come on, I want this win, man. I want it. I want to do it for the Klefkies, boys. I want to do it. But Gyarados gets the big dinosaur. Dude, Gyarados is so good, dude. Gyarados is such a good Pokemon. Everyone knows that. He's like one of the best, dude. Like, dude, he's so good. His typing's phenomenal with the flying in water. Like, he's just so awesome. Switcheroo comes out. What item are we grabbing? I'll say, yo, take this lagging tail. We're going to give you this cup. And we're going to get, uh, what do we get? Okay, we got the Focus Ash, which is pretty nice. Steel Spike coming out here. And going up against my Klefki. Yo, you Steel Spike and Klefki? Yo, you crazy, dog. You're crazy. I guess he just wants that defensive boost. That's totally fine. I'm gonna start boosting up that defense. I'm cool with it. Um, I might actually switch items with that. Uh, I oh, know he's just gonna take me out here. Never mind. Oh, Klefki survives. My dude. My dude. I might switch uh, items with that with that Hydreigon, depending on what's going on here. Or I might just pass her and go for a T wave on somebody. Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Do I T wave the Hydreigon? Slow him down a little bit. Cause that thing has a lagging tail. And I definitely have speed now. Hmm. I could actually set up a sunny day so when Venusaur comes out here, we won't need a Torkoal. That could be pretty nice for uh for me. But I'm actually just gonna go with this uh, T wave here. And hmm. What do I do here? Do I set up the geyser? Do I go for the airstream for more speed? I'm gonna go for this airstream. Over on the car slot. Over on Lucario's slot. T-Wave comes out here. It doesn't affect me, bro. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I think? Why didn't I think? Because I'm dumb. Full punch comes out here. Takes out my Klefki. He gone. Klefki out of here. It's fine, yo. Thanks for coming, Klefki. He's probably going to go into a Wormwind here. I had to guess. He's got to go into a Wormwind. And uh, lower my attack. But Lucario's gone. We get that thing out of here. No focus ash for you. You're done. We're getting SP boost, which is beautiful. Which is beautiful. Klefki with the switcher coming up. Nicely. Taking off that focus ash, which is actually really nice. We, we won't allow a thing to get another turn. But he does go for a darkness. He's not lowering my attack, which I'm totally cool with. Garrus eats up. We got speed. Um, we got Torkoal or Venusaur? That's a real question. I think I'm going to go Venusaur here. Maybe go for a sleep out or something along those lines. And then maybe after the Garrus is done Dynamaxing, then I can swap out Torkoal and then maybe get him back in for another Intimidate. Something along those lines. We're thinking, we're thinking. But, but who is he going to go into? He goes into Duraludon. Okay. He goes into Diraludon. Diraludon over here. And, hmm. Do I just protect and put somebody to sleep? And just put this Duraludon to sleep, right? Okay, night night to the Duraludon. We put you to sleep. And then we go for... I could guard. I do have speed. Like, 100% have speed. And I could go for the Overgrowth, but... I think I might just guard here. They got double up into me, right? Actually, I'm not gonna guard. I have speed advantage. I'm gonna actually throw this over onto uh, over onto the Hydreigon slot. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. We have speed. I'd rather get that speed boost as well. 
Because the Rattlon shouldn't even get a turn this time around. The Sleep Powder should be able to land perfectly cleanly. We get that Airstream off, doing a little bit of damage onto this thing once again. Edgeron just beasting up here. I wonder what his item is. Is he, is he a Soul Vested? Like, what is he? This thing's just, uh, he's beasting up pretty well. I, I really do wonder what item he is. It's not Life Orb. Sleep Powder comes out here, and it does connect. Thank you, Mr. Wildlands. Wildlands coming up clutch. And we throwing this thing to sleep. We slumming that dog up. This thing's gonna go for Darkness over on Garrus, I'm guessing. Oh, he goes for the Venus one. You crazy dog. You crazy, man. You are crazy. You being crazy, yo. Special defense does get dropped. Oracle is in the final spot, dude, which is, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. I might swap Garrus here. I honestly think swapping Garrus might be the call. Will swapping Garrus be the call? We get that Intimidate back, but I don't know. Like, what other mods does he have? I'm guessing maybe Robin in the back. I'm guessing it's gotta be Robin. Right, it's gotta be Robin or Talonflame. I'm thinking it's Robin in the back. Uh, but definitely dropping a Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb, I'm thinking should be able to pick up the KO. And then, uh, hmm, good bounce. I think I'm gonna double up into this thing. Make sure that uh, this Hydreigon goes out. I'm not trying to deal with the Hydreigon right now. He is gonna withdraw the Duralon, which is totally fine by me. And he's gonna go into who? Show me your last Pokemon. Talonflame, okay. So, oh, dude, if we would have went after that Talonflame, man! Man, if we would have went after that Talonflame, we would have been chilling. We would have been chilling. Get out of my face. Good protect by him. I gotta give it to him. Nice play, yo. He's this dude's rocking out. This dude's rocking out. What a play. Man, dude. We were we would have been chilling. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna drop a waterfall over here. I'm gonna protect my Venusaur. You wanna play protect? Hopefully I can come and clutch with my protect. You might tailwind, to be honest. Let's see what you're doing, fool. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, kid. There's no way this thing's sad. She's gonna withdraw the hydrogen. Oh, baby. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Unless he's going for a Brave Bird in my Garrus slot. Yo, Venusaur gets that protect off. Get it, Ven. Get it, Ven. He's gonna go for a Hurricane. Oh, no. On, on my Gyarados? No way. No way. And you connect it. Bruh. Bruh, what you mean? This game pretty much over with. Unless, unless, hmm. Unless, Torkoal can clutch it up. Unless Torkoal can clutch it up. This thing still has Gale when he's going. Man, that thing really connected. And he didn't go after my Venusaur? Smart play. Smart cookie over here. Um, I guess I'll go for this. And then I gotta go for the Heat Wave. Gotta go for the Heat Wave. Got a choice into the Heat Wave. Do some big damage over here. But that Town Flame's definitely gonna go for Brave Bird on me. But Torkoal should be able to eat. Torkoal should be able to eat fine. Let's see what happens here. Torkoal is slowest. Hurricane comes out and you land another one, dude. And you land another Hurricane? What do you mean? How you landing double Hurricanes with no rain? Get out of my face. We get marked on today. We get marked on today. It's fine, yo. Torkoal said I'm gonna, I'm gonna clutch this one up. That's what he said. He said, don't worry, guys. Torkoal coming up big. Oh, yo, bring that thing down to one. Bring that thing down to one. That's whack. Torkoal, yo, you got this, buddy. You got this, Torkoal. He's gonna miss his Hurricane here. This dude's gonna have a three-turn sleep. I'm be chunk. Get it, Torx. Another Heat Wave picks up the double kill. Yo, Torkoal. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, Torkoal. Over he comes out. Oh, you that should be a tasty snack. You got there. That's a tasty snack. Show me a three-turn sleep. Show me a three-turn sleep. Show it to me. Show me the three-turn sleep. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Never mind. Never, never mind. Never mind. Like, this game just hates me to, like, a crazy amount. That should have been a double kill. He lands two hurricanes. I can't land a heat wave. Bruh. Must have been my luck. I used up all my luck in the last video with the paralyzers. But, yo, it's all good. Um, The question is, I just got to see this. Would my Torkoal been able to eat up a Hydreigon shot? That's what it's going to come down to. Because a Heat Wave should be able to take out a Hydreigon, no problem. Earth Power comes out. Oh, let's see. If we, if we were able to eat this up, we would have won. Okay, we would have lost anyway. We will. We would have lost regardless. Okay, so never mind. GG to this guy. We're 0-2, man. We 0-2, but you guys know the deal. Your boy never goes 0-3. We're going to go catch that win in the next battle. So, guys, we have a problem right here. As you guys can tell, we're at the end of the video. Woo!
no three battles today. I'm having some technical difficulties. I've been trying to record a third battle, but just been having problems. But figured I'd give you those first two battles still as a video rather than nothing at all. But hope you guys did enjoy the content. I do want to get my hands on another Cuff Key team to be able to show it off and get some wins with it. So if you guys do have a Cuff Key team, make sure you send it to me over on my Instagram page at jeans underscore YouTube. Link is in the description below. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.